Hello boys and girls, welcome to Miss Cobb's Kindergarten Corner. I know this is a little bit different today. We're all locked in our houses and school's a little bit different, but today we're gonna to be learning uh, at home. And Miss Cobb's gonna be recording and doing some new things with you guys and I'm super excited about it. I'm so glad you can finally see my face, so exciting. So I want you guys to get cozy, sit on the couch, watch the video, and get ready for your science lesson. Boys and girls, welcome to our science lesson for today. So today we're going to be talking about living things and non-living things. So there's certain questions that we need to ask ourselves when we're thinking about those living things. Some of those questions are, number one, does it eat? Number two, can it grow? Number three, can it reproduce? Can it reproduce? That's a big word. We're going to talk about what that word means. And number four, can it breathe? <sighs> can it breathe? Those are the four questions we need to ask ourselves when we're talking about living things. So let's look at those questions. Does it eat? Yes, can it eat? Of course living things can eat. We are living, right? We're humans, we are living, and we eat food. Puppy dogs and cats, those are living things too, and they eat food. Plants, plants are living things. They take in nutrients from the soil and they eat as well. Insects and bugs, guess what friends? Those eat as well. Those are living things, they eat. Can it grow? Let's look at that question. Well, can plants grow? Of course they can. We put seeds in the ground, we cover them with soil, and plants grow big and tall. They grow, so that means that they're living. What about, hmm, that big word, reproduce? Reproduce, what could that mean? Let's think. Reproduce means that you are having younger things, new things that are growing. Humans reproduce by having babies. Dogs and cats reproduce by having puppies and kittens. And plants can reproduce by having little seedlings that grow tall. All of those things reproduce. What about breathing? Breathing, hmm, humans breathe. We are living, humans breathe. Animals and insects also breathe. Sometimes they breathe differently than we do, but they do breathe. And guess what? Plants can breathe too. And that's how they grow big and tall. All of those things, people, trees and plants, animals, bugs and insects, all eat, they grow, they reproduce, and they breathe. That's why they are called living things. Now we're going to talk about non-living things. Non-living things do not eat, they do not grow, they do not reproduce, and they do not breathe. Hmm, what could be non-living? Let's think. What about toys? The toys that you play with in your house. Do those grow? No, that's silly, they don't grow. What about books? Do they grow? Do they eat? Do they breathe? Do they reproduce? No, those do not. That is non-living. What about clothes that we wear? Shirts and pants and shoes and hats and gloves. Do those things eat? Do they breathe? Do they reproduce? Do they grow? No, they do not. They are non-living things. What about food that we do eat in our bodies? What about the food, the piece of pizza? Does that grow? Does that breathe? Does that eat? Do we, we can eat that, right? Because we're humans, we're living. But is that piece of pizza, does it eat anything? No, it does not. Does it grow? Does it breathe? Does it reproduce? No, it does not. That is a non-living thing. 
All right, boys and girls, so we're gonna review our lesson now on living and non-living things. I say the item and you tell me, is it living or non-living? Okay, the clothes that we wear, are they living or are they non-living? Do they breathe? Do they eat? Do they grow? Do they reproduce? If you said non-living, you're right. Give yourself a thumbs up. What about people? What about people? Do people grow? Do people eat? Do people reproduce? Do they breathe? If you said living, you are correct. People are living. What about books that we read? Do books breathe? Do they eat? Do they grow? Do they reproduce? If you said books were non-living, you are correct. Good job, thumbs up. One more thing, what about puppy dogs? Are they living or non-living? If you said living, you are correct. Good job. All right, boys and girls, that concludes our lesson for science today on living and non-living things. See you next time. Bye-bye.